Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. I have Kerwit here from from Frank Laporte chat notoriety. Uh, not literally here. I can't really. He's just digitally here through oh, through the magic yeah. of Skype and green screens. But apparently, this is a uh, this is a real draft that we're doing with real people for the first time on Arena. And I wish these cards are bigger because they're kind of small. Oh, we gotta take that Godzilla. I I agree with you. I think it's it's, it's I think it's fine. Put a trample counter on a creature. It's an eleven eleven. I mean, even if there are better cards in the pack, we gotta take Godzilla. What is this? What is this? Is this mean packs? Wait, I don't know what's going. On. I wish I could make these bigger. Is it possible? I want them bigger. They're too small. Oh, there we go. That's better. Um, what do we got? We got thirty-seven seconds, huh? Honey mammoth. Uh, okay. I don't know the cards well enough to like. <clears throat> Twenty-seven seconds. Destroy a creature. Or put a menace counter. Yeah, actually, I'm taking this blood curdle. This is probably this is oh, probably. Godzilla. Yeah, I mean. You could cycle it for two mana. <laughs> I think I'm gonna destroy a creature for one mana though, or for four mana though. That's really where I'm at right now. Somebody else got that Godzilla. That's true. He's not wrong. Uh, unlikely aid. Plus two, plus oh, indestructible. Glimmer bell. One three that you can untap. Uh, send him on down to Rat Train. Ram through. <clears throat> creature you control does damage equal to his power to target creature. If the creature you control has trample, excess damage is dealt to the controller instead. <clears throat> Momentum Rumbler. This guy gets first strike and then double strike. Lead the Stampede seems pretty decent. Where are you feeling? Anything? You got any feelers here? Or are you just here for the ride? Uh, what about that Cunning Night Bonder? I don't know if we're going to have like a Flash deck and Limited, though, is my only... Concern. Yeah, that's probably true. If it worked on instance, I actually think it'd be great. Yeah. Should we just stick with black for now, or do you want to like actually? The, the only black card is this one though, and it's not very good. Okay, then screw that. I was leaning towards the. I think the ram through is fine because it's just like a fight card, and I think black, black green's probably good too. I don't know. I don't know. It's My our nugs are almost here. It's our first Icoria draft. <laughs> yeah, his nugs are almost here. Kerwin ordered some McNugs because. Katie had some McNugs, and then, you know, it just got out of hand after that. Here's a Deadweight. I think Deadweight dead sounds fun. good. Look at this guy. Okay, I'm blocked by Menace, except for three more green dreams. Yeah, so it's just it just turns Menace from two to three. Which is not bad. I'm going to take Deadweight. I think Deadweight's good. Yeah, Deadweight's good. It's hard to go wrong. Uh, Dark Bargain is great. It's not from Homelands, it's just from Dominaria. Dark Bargle. 1-1 one, one and lifelink. A 1-1 one, one counter and a lifelink counter. That seems like a lot. That's a lot of counters. Survivor's Bond. Two mana. Uh, return a human from your graveyard to your hand. Return a non-human from your graveyard to your hand. Dude, we could have had two unlikely aids. That is a correct number of aids. Unlikely aids that we could have had. That is, uh, that is a true statement that you just made. I am going to take Dark Bargain, I think. It's got to be better than the other card, right? Like, they're both drawing you two cards, but one is guaranteed to do that. All right, nothing good in here in terms of... Oh, Pacifism seems right. Oh, Kerwit, Kerwit's gone. He's checking his Nug status. All right, I'm going to take Pacifism. Send him on down to Rat Train. <clears throat> Light of Hope. Mm hmm. Mothra's Great Cocoon, <clears throat> otherwise known as Mysterious Egg. Hmm. I haven't seen any mutate creatures yet. I think we saw the one Pouncing Shark. And this guy, I guess. 4-4 four, for four, 5 with Menace. Actually, this card as a 4-4 for four, 5 with Menace is probably just fine. We should totally take all the mutates. They're called mutatoes. <laughs> Unbelievable. Delicious fried mutatoes. Yeah. <laughs> Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. You know. Mm. Mm. All right, I gotta go grab my nugs. 
Do you need anything while I'm down there? Yeah, some nugs. Some also nugs. All right. Boot nipper. <coughs> Enters the battle for interest of flying at first strike. That guy's good. Put one counter on this whenever it mutates. Oh boy. Uh, four, four for five. Whenever this creature mutates, gain four. <sighs> you know he's gonna order your nugs right now. <laughs> you know he probably will. <clears throat> that's Ker that's the Kerwit way. Yeah, I'll take this guy. Eh, take an artifact or an enchantment, put you in the sideboard. I don't know what colors we are or how easy it is to be. Cutting Night Bonner might just be fine as like a 2-2 two -two here. Oh, that was a cute little noise it made. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. I think a human. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Send them on down to Rat Train. Kerwit was gone. He had to go get his nugs. New pack. Mythos of Snapdax. Each player chooses an... Yeah, that's not very good. Uh, dire Tactics could be decent. Another Pacifism actually might be better. Exile and Creature. I don't know our likelihood of having a human is the problem. And I feel like we do want to be two colors. I don't feel like you want to be three colors here. I think it's pacifism, and I think the, the odds of dire tactics coming back are higher than the odds of pacifism coming back. This is a likely deck we have here? What does that mean? Uh, Banish Blade's fine. Vulpakeet is okay. Uh, Call of the Death Dweller could be good. I have a return. Did you get your nugs? Are you carrying nugs? God, I'm so jealous. All right. Uh... <clears throat> oh, we have like three packs backed up here. I'm the I'm the speed bump here. That's interesting. Whatever, I got 20 seconds. Old slow Frank Lepore. That's what they used to call me in college, unfortunately. You went to college? <laughs> yeah. Where do you think my deck came from? Tap it on tap creature. Exile a tapped creature. College. Could... That's fine. That's correct. Yes, that's the that was the message I was getting. <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna take the Scour Barons. Special cost, XL tap creature. Person. Um, actually, this is probably better, right? We're in Bear two colors. Nugs. What about Nugs? Spaghetti Touch said by Magic Card would be Kerwit Bearer of Nugs. I think that's I think that's a fair I think that's a fair. I'd rather be like Lord of Nugs. Send them on down to Or occur with the infinite nug. I could take blossoming sands and try to be three colors, but I don't like I think it's better than anything else in this pack, so we'll give it a shot. Jungle Hollow. Alright, you're making it easy. You're making the three color the three color dream. I mean we could take Divine Hour, but we do have we already have Swallow Hole, Deadweight, Double Passivism, and Blood Curdle, so I think our, our fixing is good. El Derp Fiend, thanks so much for the bits, buddy. Finally back. I appreciate you. Uh, boot nipper, not bad. Burglar, not bad. <clears throat> All right, Frank. What's the policy of eating on stream? 
Um, try not so, to trigger people, and that's so pretty just, much it. So I just mute myself. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna be a loud chomper, I think that's a, a good strategy. Delicately nibble on the nugs out of, out of frame. Yeah, correct. I don't know what it Absurd. took. To... Did it take one of the cards we wanted? I don't. I don't know. I don't know what it took. That's weird. So I got some spicy buffalo. Katie would approve. And I also have tangy barbecue. I like bar. I'm a big barbecue fan. But I mean, <coughs> let's be real. We go sweet and sour. Okay, let's take it easy. No. Okay, let's not take it easy at all. Also, hot mustard. Hot mustard coming through. We work hard and we play hard. It's a classic episode. It definitely is. I'm gonna take this, this honey mammoth. No, it's double green. Never mind. Honey mustard mammoth. <laughs> that was a solid reference, man. Uh, yeah. Three, three, three. When it enters the battlefield, the top three cards are all in your graveyard. All right. Well, whatever. That's vigilance or reach. You can go on the side, boy. Suffocating fumes, sure. <clears throat> Dark bargain. There's a new internet? What? McDonald's nugs are probably too. the only thing left worth buying there nowadays. Is that true? <clears throat> Did we give Kerwood a mic name? Yeah, we called him Sakura Mike. There's also Pink Mike. But that sounds weirder, I feel like. Um, None of these cards are exciting. I was going to go with one buck, Mike. That actually, that's more on the nose for sure. I really hope this deck comes together in the third pack. I don't even know what, what cards are playable. One buck. One mic. One beer. <coughs> yeah, auto-select that swamp for me, Magic. You're doing the Lord's work. Check the China. The Chinese Shut up and take my chicken. Money. One buck, Mike. But one buck, Mike. Bug. <laughs> Billy's picking up the slack for uh, for Kerwitz, uh being here, I guess. Uh, insatiable hemorrhage. Three three with death touch with mutate. Whenever this creature mutates, you spend one of those X. X in the row. Those times. Shark typhoon seems real good, but we're not blue. I'm just gonna take this this three three with death touch with mutate. How about that? Shark Typhoon, foon, 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 Shark Typhoon. Got people rare drafting up in here, I bet. <clears throat> this pack is trash. Search library for two basic lands, put them on the battlefield tapped. I think that's probably playable. Creatures control of flying. Eh. Yeah, I'll just take the migration path, I guess. Uh, whenever you cycle another card, put a 1-1 counter on this guy. Whenever you cycle a card, tap a creature and put controls. Our 4-drop slot is looking pretty rough. Our 3-drop slot is looking non-existent. <coughs> I guess I'll just take Snare. Wow, that was... I thought they would... I thought it would reserve it at first. Will of the Hunter seems great, as Rob and I went over. Oh, another blood curdle? I'm probably just taking the blood curdle. That's how you make blood cheese curd. Yeah, you just let the blood curdle. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. I guess we're just taking Jungle Hollow. We're still trying to trying to be that three color deck. Exuberant Wolf Bear. When it attacks, change the base power and toughness of a human you control to its power. So four four. Uh, Blossoming Sands? We can just keep the green dream alive. 
Oh yeah, Green Dream. That was like Mean Gene from from wrestling back in the day. You guys remember Mean Gene? The dream of green is alive in Logan. I don't know about all that. It snowed for a little bit last night, and then today it was like, nah, we're done. It was real weird. I'll take migratory great horn. <clears throat> so we have, what? What is this swamp doing in here? Get out of here. We have four lands and 20, so we need one more playable, essentially. Baby shark, do, 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 do. baby shark. Michael B. Do, 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 do. Honey mammoth don't care. Honey mammoth? <clears throat> What's that from? Honey badger? Honey badger? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like it's like an RPG badger, but you know, more honey. Lots more honey. Lots, so much more honey. It's like not even. It's like a ridiculous. Ooh, honey. Badger. We're definitely gonna need some cuts here. That's for sure. He's going to copyright strike this channel for singing his songs. Joke's on him. I own all the content that he produces on this stream. Ooh, got, got him. him. All right, let's, we need some cuts here for sure. <clears throat> this can go. Mike, Mike B didn't read the fine print. He did not. And now he's going to get wrecked. You can probably cut this blade banish. I mean, we have two blood curdles that are just so much better. <clears throat> need three more cuts glider's cute that's fine cut one of them guys how many creatures do we have right now I don't think Kerwood has any idea what's going on with our deck what's a deck exactly <clears throat> actually take on unlikely aid I'm not really super high on that thing Might be. You should retain legal counsel. Dang, my plans to take over the channel have been foiled. You fool! <coughs> I'm trying to get these these productive coughs. What were they called? Is that what they're just called? Productive coughs? 7, 8, 9, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 9. In the medical field, we call them Procos. <laughs> Oh, like you said, we. Oh, Jesus. Um, I'm going to cut one of these, add one more forest. So this leaves us with one, two, three, six, six, white, six green, uh, six, eight white, and five, six, seven. So six, seven, eight. That seems good. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's three rounds. That's interesting because it's a player draft. Oh, that's weird. That's wild, man. Are you playing with the people from your same pod? Ooh, should we have been rare drafting? I don't know, man. Your opponent's name is Mortem Ferrorum. <laughs> is that a thing? I was reading it and I was like, I don't know what that means. Is that from something? I don't think so. Oh, because you read it and you pronounced it as if it was like, you know. <clears throat> if you were Space Ghost, which co-host is Mike B? Moltar. 100% Moltar. <laughs> 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 yes, I think that's correct. Oh, no. No, no, no. He's got to be Brack, right? He's 100% Brack. I just I think he's I think he's just not Zaxor. I think that's the only that's the only hard line I'm taking. 
chat, please sound off. Chat and, and YouTube comments. Please let us know down below <clears throat> who Mike B is in the in the Space Coast Coast to Coast host lineup. Which one's the green bug? Uh, that's Zaxor. Okay. Uh, what are we getting? We got another swamp. We got another plains. Let's get another forest, I guess. So now we got this 3-4 that when it dies, it, we got a 1-1. One, one. That's pretty sweet, man. Swole Mike would be the insect guy. That's Zach's, that's Zach's sword. He kind of sounds like this. What does this thing do? <clears throat> Put a lifelink counter on a non-human. You don't have one. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature with lifelink. You don't have any of those. All right. Zaxor. Oh my god, it's Zorak. You're right, it's Zorak. I'm getting Zaxor because I literally have a, a subscriber named Zaxor, obviously. Like, that's... It's Zorak. Yeah, like, I knew the voice. Like, clearly, just give me some fucking... Give me some leeway, man. Like, <laughs> clearly, I know the character. <clears throat> Flying counter. I guess we'll end the turn. I don't care about putting a thing on this guy, for sure. Brack is obnoxious because I'm so Hey guys, I'm Brack. Hey, hey Spice goes home. Oh, go, go. <clears throat> I like the mic's like Brack is obnoxious, which I am certainly not. It's inconceivable that I would be obnoxious. Who is Space Ghost's dad? <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh god, we're gonna block and you're gonna. You're gonna do some shenanigans here? Oh man. Kerwood, how are them nugs, bro? Fantastic. Glad to hear it, my dude. <coughs> Can me and Mike and you and Kerwood all stream? Uh, are you talking about like, like soon? Like, in the next week, or are you talking about when we live together? <clears throat> Katie, can you make an e Can you take a picture looking like this emote? This Hey Guys emote? Where you're like this? And that's what I'll make your emote? Because I think that would be hilarious. What is this thing? This is a furlid. This cycles for two. Oh, man. That hit the spot. <clears throat> I bet it did. I bet it did. Oh, uh, yeah. Get that eye roll in there. <laughs> I don't know if you could see an eye roll. It's my only issue. I feel like you could feel it, though. <laughs> You're like, dang, she's really eye rolling there. So is this your first, like, actual people draft in Arena? Yeah, this is, they just went up today, I think, so. <clears throat> Crazy. Wild, right? What a time to be alive. Wild, lead the stampede. Let's see how many creatures they hit. Two? Not bad. Wingfold Pterodon's not bad, though. Gives it flying or hexproof. How does this ever not have flying? <clears throat> You're like, I'm gonna give it hexproof so that it doesn't fly. It's just, does it just walk around <laughs> with fucking huge wings? Just hanging out. Oh, lord. It uses its wings to cover itself. Like you do. That's where the hexproof comes from. Yeah, that's true. I knew that actually. That's an old family secret. Yeah. The hexproof is in the in the. It's the low. Uh, you know what? I got nothing here. What about the Marley? <laughs> oh lord. I guess we're just flying over. Get <clears throat> Right in the McNugs. What I like doing is I like having emotes that emulate existing popular emotes. Like I have the FTL lull that is just me doing the LOL. And I kind of want to get one of Mike B doing this face. This this classic. You know that guy? You know that emote? Mike B, get it, get it for us. 
right now. <clears throat> Baby shark. This guy's got to come down as a flyer, right? Because you're a five and you got to block this. And that can be like, pacifism, pow, pow. And then they're going to be like, oh, dang. I can't do anything against a pacifism. And I'll be like, yeah, you got locked down. That yes. Suck if you like summon your creature and discovered it was a pacifist. Yes, Kriegasm. That's, yeah, you're like, hey, man, come on. Come fight with me. And he's like, that's not really, that's not really what I do. That's not really my thing. And you're like, what? What, are you kidding me? We're in battle. And you're like, it's just. Yeah, I don't believe in that. I'm, I got, I don't know. I feel really strongly about it, man. I'll tell you what you believe in. We should use one of your fancy cameras to take a pic of me doing that. How many fancy cameras do you think I got? You got a fancy camera collection? I do, apparently. Oh my god, this is Frank so many lands. Frank fancy cam. Well, you know, I don't want to brag. <laughs> the Frank Lepore fancy cam show. All right, when you put a one guy your lifelink, none of them, nothing's got a lifelink. I'm just gonna get in there, I guess. Would that be a show of you <clears throat> showing fancy cams or recording on fancy cams? Well, you're gonna have to tune in to find out, buddy. Don't give away the milk if you can get the cow for free. That's what I always say. You getting free cows somewhere? You don't know. You don't know about my cows. That's why I asked. Yeah, think about it. Free cows at franklapore.com. Act now. For the low, low price of three payments of no dollars, <laughs> get your cow. Imagine you just had a cow hanging out in your room. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't, I don't really need to imagine that. That sounds wild. You won't even imagine it. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> Hexproof. Interesting. But I got this flyer that's going to get you. I don't understand what's happening. One, two, three. This literal 2-2 two, two squirrel is, <clears throat> is doing so much work, dude. Oh, Where? they're going to give this guy flying. Oh, that's good. See, that's good. A nice 3-6 three, three, Hexproof flyer and limited. That seems, that seems good. Now he just needs to mutate some crap onto it. Yep, another land for me. Another land for Frank. Do you get trophies in this? Uh, not, not when you fucking draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 lands. And a migration path and a migratory greathorn to get those lands. Then get you, them lands. Then you don't. So you actually will just win, right? We still just win, right? Frank, don't you have a DSLR? I'm like complaining, but then we're like, we have to win on board. I don't understand myself sometimes. I'm still like, I still wish I didn't draw as many lands, but I, you know. Welcome to today's episode of Frank Lepore Hates on Stuff. We, f we figured it out. <clears throat> we got there. Just because I have the win, though, I, I still feel like I'm justifying getting frustrated drawing, like, 12 mana sources and, like, three spells. It's a little things, Frank. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm just lucky that I had a 2-2 flyer that they just didn't deal with, so. Yeah, that was their bad. That was their bad. <clears throat> Should we uh, adaptive shimmerer? I don't even know what that is. This thing? Why, why would we do that? I don't know. Oh, because you just wanted to say adaptive shimmerer? Shimmerer. But it's you. Are you surprised by drawing? No, but I mean, like, I feel like I don't get more surprised, but I do get frustrated, right? Like, I, I'm not like, I, I can't believe it. Like, I'm more like, well, this is frustrating. You know, it's just, it's it's different. It's similar, but different. <laughs> Wow, that's a lot. Sick <laughs> got Kurt was just like fucking drinking into it. Oh man, I hate that sound. That sound? Yeah, that, that, that one. Well, you know what they say. No, I don't. Well, you'll find out one day. Hey, Frank, you looking for a cheaper way to support the stream? What? So you're looking for a cheaper way to support the stream? Yeah, do you have one? 
Yeah, Patreon is a great way to support the content for only one to two dollars a month. I agree with you, buddy. That's true. He's right. That's true. For like one or two dollars a month, <clears throat> not even a week, not even a, a stream, a month, dude. For the price of a cup of coffee. No, if it's it's got to be the cheapest cup of coffee. Link and promo <laughs> code are down below. It's true. She's right. <clears throat> you could support a streamer in need. And then we'd show like uh, videos of like streamers sitting in alleyways. Streamers and alleyways. I'm gonna play my squirrel. When do you ever give the squirrel first strike? Literally never. Well, maybe when they got like a 2 2. Oh, wow. They were ready oh, this time. Oh, see, if you'd given him first strike, he'd still be alive. <laughs> God damn, that was dark, man. If you only gave him first strike, he'd still be here. I guess we'll play this cat. I wish I hit a land. Now I can't hit a land. If I hit a land, I could play this four drop or I can migratory great heart onto the cat. But uh, you know, here we go. It's just I just want to. I just want a balanced game. Okay. Is it too much to ask? Do you remember all the people you sent to their death? No. Look, another. That's cold blooded, Frank. Cold blooded. They're going to blood curdle this in response. But I guess we still get this, don't we? That's how that works? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's pretty good. Boom! What are we getting so, here? This isn't the squirrel, is it? What was, what was under it? It was a squirrel. No, it was a cat. It was a cat. Oh. Get him! <clears throat> now all our hand is online. We got this dark bargle to find other things. Dude, you're going to bargle that so hard. I'm going to what? You're gonna bargle that so hard. I'm gonna, dude. I'm gonna be the, I'm gonna be the most bargling thing you've ever seen. Okay, that's enough swampums. We came to bargle. I don't think we can lose this when we have double blood curl because we can just ride these, these cuties to victory. How many drinks do I have? I got all the drinks. One beer. <coughs> I'm just gonna play should this. We go, should we go over the different beverages that are on my table right now? Yeah, Kerwin at least has his McDonald's drink. He so had he a root beer. He had a McDonald's drink. He had a a, a, a a Red Bull. Vanilla Coke. Vanilla. Coke. I got this uh, diet ginger ale lemonade. Kurt, I really hope you recycle these cans, man, because you go through a lot of drinks. <laughs> I got this lime Yoritos. Oh, I hope he's not avoiding it. I got water. He had a whiskey drink. Then he had a cider. Oh, what shark typhoon? Well, I got these Oreo peanut butter drinks. Stop. <laughs> I think he's freaked out. What's happening? It's my uh my Apple Hub. Hey Siri, stop. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. <clears throat> Good lord, man. <clears throat> I, like, accidentally brushed the uh, Apple HomePod, and it started doing that. Oh, I my know God. What doing. Jesus, man. That was wild. Spag42. You know, we know how to get down. Yeah, he's... What a maniac. He's a maniac. Oh, yeah, I do recycle all of them. Uh, what is this? You're playing... I don't know what this other card is. I want to see the, the card on the bottom, guys. I can't... Oh, Monster so plus seven, seven plus seven? That's pretty big. Sure. <clears throat> Resolves. The old Bargle Boys at it again. Those old Bargle Boys are at it again. Who are the bar? Are you the? Are like? Are we the Bargle Boys? Buddy, you know who the Bargle Boys are. So then, who's Bargle Hog? I don't know what you're saying right now. Yeah, you know, Boss Hog. Do you do you even watch Dukes of Hazard? I don't. I don't. I'm not a big Dukes fan.
is a maniac. On the it would be sweet if I had like the water bucket. The blooder bucket? No, water bucket. Oh. So I could like pull a thing and the water would like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like we're missing here. I really feel like <laughs> the stream is less complete because the lack of the water bucket. How many There's drinks do you have, Kurt? Probably like I think he's didn't he show off like five, six, nine, <clears> thirty? <throat> he's dead. Uh, he's dead. Oh snap, you guys are the same guy. What? You're both fiddle tips. Fibble tips? Oh, that's right, because that's the that's the meme. Alright, we're gonna pass. Go on to my turn, huh? Okay. Fibble T I. Fibble TI? Yeah. Hmm. Like the rapper. I know what you're saying, buddy. Oh, they're gonna Do tap you? my team. No, oh, they're not gonna tap my team down. They're just gonna die. I don't know what's going on here. They got two cards. But I, I got think that when you die, you blow up. <clears throat> You're in a heartless. How could you be so heartless? Dude, he's got a shark typhoon? Yeah, we this is we went over this. Did we? Yeah, boy. Sharknado. Check in and see. I've got a sharknado of a hundred and three. Dude, imagine you had 103 sharks. Shark blooded, shark blooded. Wait, did Ti go on reality shows? Yeah, probably. Was he on like Prison Makeover? Probably. <coughs> Yeah, I'm just paying for that. This needs is to be chat, done. Is chat taking a nap? I don't know. It gets weird sometimes where I'm like, there's like a, a lot of people in here. But no one's actually uh, interacting. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like You could eat this guy if you'd like, but you have no cards in hand, so. We could just start calling out random people in chat. Like, uh, yo, Cheese Wisps. What's up? Hi, Frank. I'm listening to Watson snort. That seems less exciting, my love. Hot-blooded. It's Michael B. His name is Cheese Whip and he's 103. It's cute. Yeah, no, I bet it's cute. That's not wrong. You're pressure cooking pork? Oh, you gotta tell us about that. Tell me about your, your pork experience. Tell me about your pork NATO. Which weird song, Spaghetti Toucher? Spaghetti! Did you draw another counter spell? No? Okay. Well, I'm gonna get in there. Hope you didn't draw a removal spell. Oh, got him! This is how you win your first round in Ikoria's draft. Boom. <clears throat> with real human beings. I love what you've done with your hair, Mike B. Pink suits you. Dang. Mm -hmm. It sure does. Maple garlic chops. That That sounds good. That sounds real good. As a man Are who you, does not eat pork, though. You're going to maple garlic into it? I can put, I'll put, I'll make some maple garlic chicken. That sounds delicious. Kind of bummed Cheese Whisk didn't get in on the action. <clears throat> yeah, I'll keep this hand. What about Filthy Flapjacks? What up, Filthy? I feel like that would be a good name for a pancake house. Filthy Flapjacks? Hold on one second. We got Toucher. I bet you have like some sort of video conference with the Meatball Council. Ooh, filthy flapjacks up in the chat. How's it going, flapjacks? 
Kermit's really the glue that's holding this chat together. I'm just over here trying to, I'm just over here trying to draft. A Waffle House in a strip club mixed in one. I think that's actually just Waffle House. <coughs> Hot blooded. Totally steals Michael B. What is this mysterious egg? Oh wow, they're getting down with the sickness over here, guys. Down with the sickness. <laughs> that was really good. That was, that was good. I do what I can. Yeah. You, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I should, uh, I should be a backup singer on Dan's next album. Yeah, I feel like that's what she really needs. Like in, uh, on our, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's what they're missing. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you. There's a famous pit beef place, Chaps and Be More, that's in a strip club parking lot. Sweet. Everybody knows about the old strip club parking lot. Do they cater the strip club? Sure. Can you get some smoked meat up in the strip club? Oh, cancel. I just want to cast this guy as his parakeet cost. <clears throat> Katie, do you want me to find this Vulpakeet art and buy it for us? Vulpakeet. Cast him Jimmy. as a bird. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's Jimmy funny. Mole, is that because there's no strip club? Make it big again. Um, I'm actually fine with blocking here. I feel like if oh, you make it big again. Oh, okay. Slash, yeah, she um, wants to see it. Where is you need it? like a strip club slash smoke meat place. This and guy. And then your strip club's like uh, motto can be, we're smoking meat. Listen, buddy. Don't, don't act like you don't like it. I'm trying. Um, So we can mutate this guy for four. Make this a 4-4 four, four flyer, gain four life. I think that's probably good, but God... The, the, the so many eggs in one basket in this format is really... That Oricorn is majestic. Okay, so like it's a 4-4 four, four for, for 5. And that's good on the ground, but it's got... Oh, this guy gets Vigilance too, though? Yeah, let's just put it on. <laughs> Male strippers would be called the Meat Man. All right, got float, got vigilance, gain four life, got a four four. If they kill it, it's no good. Yep, Floaty vid. That's what we we're afraid of. That's literally the worst feeling ever. God damn, <laughs> that was not fun. <coughs> yeah, I feel like if you don't live in the south, they don't know what barbecue is. Oh yeah, there's no barbecue places in, in Logan, Utah. It's it's. It's a barbecue uh, black hole, unfortunately. A barbecue desert? It's a barbecue, yeah, it's a barbecue desert for sure. Also a regular desert. It's It's got all the desert qualities. Also actually a desert. Hot blood. People, people in Utah haven't figured that out yet, that they live in a desert. And every year they're like, oh, there's not enough water or rainfall this year. Like, yeah, you live in a desert. Barbecue desert sounds good right about now. Well, Ola, Ofa loaf. You don't like uh, you don't like that barbecue. <laughs> Kenny, was I was I biting fingies? I didn't even realize. Oh my god, it's so self it's so subconscious that I don't even like. Wait, you were nibbling <coughs> on your fang? Yeah. Is it because they weren't fanging? Y yeah. They call them fingers, but I don't see them fang. Guys, what should I what should I have for dinner tonight? Tacos. Oh, tacos are always good. I feel like I've been eating uh, an abundance of Mexican food since being here. A whole side of beef. Ooh, McDonald's is good. What about uh, an ultimate, or what is it? The, the Whopper? I don't know what you're saying right now. You know what I'm talking about. I have no idea. Don't you accuse me of that. Whopper. 
Whopper. <laughs> he just said Whopper. What's the food specialty of Utah? It's probably some sort of jello with like cucumber shredded in it. Oh, we do have funeral potatoes that are pretty delicious. <clears throat> Boy, Arturo Vio is fucking legit though. That is Michael B is is true there. Yeah, they they got any fallout there in uh, in the Utah? Fallout? Fall. Fall? Fall. Fall? Yeah. No, that's that's racist. Soup. Uh, I'm just gonna say next here. No attacks in the turn. <coughs> Guess it's foe. Fa. It is fa. It's not foe. Fallout? Yeah, that's what I thought you were saying. I thought you were like, you got any fallout? And I was like, fallout? Yeah, I'd rather them not mutate because we're just going to have to discard a card. And they get to attack with a 4-4 this turn. I'd rather them not do that. Ooh, there's someone in chat named Shaker of Milks. Shaker of Milks? What up, Shaker? There's also somebody named Twitch Prime Reminder. Twitch Prime Reminder? Yeah. This is all. These are all very weird names, man. All right, so what is this guy? 3-3 three, three with Death Touch. And he becomes a Mutato. So three Mutate on this, three Mutate on this, but we don't get much, right? Ophalo, if you don't know what Twitch Prime is. Twitch Prime is the money you pay Jeff Bezos every month to stop. Oh, but it's a human, so he can't actually do that. I guess we'll just play 3-6. <laughs> Jesus. No attacks. Old Jeff Beeswax. He's probably listening to us right now. Oh, you know he is. In his tight shirt and bald head. <clears throat> this guy's got Vidge. <clears throat> Can I give him... <laughs> Twitch Prime is when Optimus Prime starts malfunctioning. Dude, that Vantasaur is so imposing. You ain't kidding, buddy. You ain't kidding. <clears throat> Showed up at my house last night and wouldn't leave. Who? The imposing Vantasaur. <laughs> well, he's kind of imposing, so. Twitch Prime is Mike B's grocery fund. Under. What are we gonna get? We got. Let's get a green. Um, so this guy's got Vigilance and Death Touch. Like, they can put all three, and then I'll just... That would be fine with me. <clears throat> Let's see what happens here. It was a pretty forest. Okay. I liked that. That was a good turn. Dude, your little dragon friend seemed to like it. That forest is pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh god, they're gonna kill my guy. Jesus, come on with this bull honky. If this guy gets in there, we're gonna swallow him whole. Oh, we could also pacify him. I guess we could tap this guy, even though we do have the pacifism. I think we're just gonna tap this guy. Do you think the, like, mutate thing is, like, supposed to be, like, those, uh... Like, unset, like, mutate cards? Where it was, like, the two cards that came together? Uh... Uh, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, right? No, I think you just made that shit up, I'll be honest with you. Maybe. Yeah, it's the impression that I get. Uh, kind of, not like being, yeah, like the meld ones, where it's like, you have like the body of like a squirrel, and you would add like a shark head on Oh yeah, the ones from un Unstable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, I made that comparison in my article. I didn't read your article. <clears throat> I know you didn't. I know you didn't. You hurt my feelings. GTH, 
D35. Uh, they're thinking about Sakura Mike. I also like Boring Mike. Or Bland Mike. Bland Mike could work. Bland Mike? Yeah. Wild. Just wild. Fantastic. Oh, we just won the game. <clears throat> Boom, heads be exploding. Uh, boom, heads be exploding. He, he, it's fast for true. <coughs> um, so the problem is they have like two of those exile creature with power four or greater cards, and I really don't want to like not make my creatures big, you know. So what do I? What was? What is a guy to do? You know? I don't know. What do you even do? You know? You know what I'm saying, man? N z z z z z z z z zero seven. How do you pronounce your name? Is it zero seven? Yes. <clears throat> Store brand Mike? I like that. What does that mean? It's like the store brand. You know, not the brand name Mike. Oh, you're like the great value Mike. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> or uh, no name Mike. Disco Stew doesn't advertise. Ah, <laughs> uh, Disco Stew. I like that he just came out of like an off, like a throwaway joke. Because they were trying to make a disco stud jacket, but there wasn't enough room on the back. So it just became disco <laughs> stew. <laughs> oh, man. Simpsons is gold. <clears throat> Great value, Mike. Off the chain. So if, if we were in Canada, one of the big... Uh, Store brands is President's Choice. That's funny because you guys don't even have a president. <laughs> it is funny, but I can be I can be President's Choice, Mike. Why not Prime Minister's Choice? It's a good question. Hey, as an as a Canadian who's lived in America for like fifteen thousand years, uh, do you do you kind of wish we had a Trudeau right now? Well, it's not really my place to say. It really is, because you're, you're you're basically... Are you a citizen? Do you have citizenship? No. Do you just have, like, a work visa? I have green card. Okay. What? Well, I feel like after this long, you should probably just get citizenship, right? Meh. Okay. Well, you know, it's oh, up to you, man. Touch it. Where are you from? It's up to you. That is true. They do have the no-name brand in Canada, too. If you go to No Frills, the grocery store, No Frills, sell that no-name brand. We have President's oh, yeah. Choice in the States? I've never heard of that. I've never yeah, heard of President's exactly. Choice. Oh. I really want a card that I can cast here, but I did not find one. Immigrant Mike. I'm here taking all the Mike's jobs. <laughs> Let's get a black and a green. Sorry, Mike B, you've been play replaced by a cheaper Mike. Oh, wow, that's nice. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of damage. <clears throat> so President's Choice makes this delicious mac and cheese. Where it's like a white mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Tell me more. It's uh, it's white. God, get out of here. <laughs> Ooh, poutine mic sounds good too. Which brings up the question, Frank: Have you ever had real poutine? You know, I don't think so. Oh I mean, like, gosh. I don't think I've had much poutine because the gravy. I'm just like, mm. it's got that meaty so, gravy. So good. It's called an election. Okay. Take it easy. Oh, now we're doing alright, I think. I wonder, like, President's Choice must be imported from the U.S. then. Because I can't imagine, like, a Canadian company calling something President's Choice. <clears throat> I mean, they Maybe. probably have one of those spells, I imagine. 
A Johnny's oh, choice. To the surprise of no one. He does, in fact, eat McDonald's. Oh, interesting. Three, four. Yeah, Poutine is that guy from Russia. <laughs> Jesus. Good gravy. <clears throat> have you ever been close to tragedy? I've been close to the folks who have. Poutine is some good gravy. Oh, that's funny that you... Yeah. Vlad, mere poutine. I don't think you can be a mere poutine, though. I guess unless you weren't made in Canada, then maybe you are. <clears throat> There's a restaurant in Canada called Smokes Poutinery. They just sell all manner of poutine and poutine accessories. <laughs> Good gravy. Katie was like, acknowledge that I said that. I'm funny. And I was like, okay, <laughs> you are funny. That's the true. I like that she like messaged you outside of. Uh... She does that. Oh, she. Oh my god, it's so. It's very cute. It's very cute. <clears throat> yep. All right. Cool. Yeah, I think the guy's name is Smoke. He's a weird looking dude. Smoke. Yeah. So it's Smoke's poutinery. You mean like the Mortal Kombat character? Yeah, probably. After he retired, he opened the chain of poutine stores. The only way it is to get attention, he never reads all chat. Yeah, well, get, <clears throat> I feel like I read more than most people when it comes to chat. See, at least he actually reads your messenger messages. Or come fo close to folks who have. Noob sale, but's chicken. Yeah. Uh, does he ignore mine? Kind of. I do not, you fucking liar. <laughs> We're streaming right now. <laughs> All right, you just keep killing my flyers, I guess. Just mono shredded sales dot deck over here. Yep, 3-3 three, three lifelinker is good. Not a land, one time. That's a big fat boy. <clears throat> Old fatty boy. Old fatty. Oh, look, they had an answer because when do they not? Let's see if we can draw one. Mm. Ooh, bush meat poacher. Mm. You know what? I'll get in there. Get him. No, get I won't. If they have a removal spell, it's just not a good idea. It's just a yeah. bad idea. Alright, they still got one card in hand. You gonna get in there? Oh, they didn't. They were like, no, I can't. It's too scary. Oh, good. That's good. Ooh. <coughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. As Spaghetti Touchers pointed out, you kind of did just imply that you paid more attention to me than Katie. No, I didn't. Oh my god, the, 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 dude, Katie, there's no, <laughs> there is no leg to stand on in terms of the attention I pay to that woman. Frank's in trouble. I'm gonna gain six here and draw a card. Oh, a she Garrus. Texting you right, she's texting you right now. Oh, uh, no. No, I think I'm okay. No attacks. End the turn. <laughs> uh oh. Pass to blockers. So, Frank, the easiest way to support the channel is to subscribe. You get lots of emotes, access to the Discord <laughs> channel, and have. If you have Twitch Prime, it's free. God, I love it when you tell me things like this. 
This bushmeat poacher seems real good. Katie, what records are you typing up? Unfortunately, we have no. three humans, so this guy doesn't do anything, but this guy does. Is it Night at the Opera by Queen? We are the night at the opera, my friends. Oncology records for chemo patients tomorrow. That's less interesting. You know, like you do. No attacks. We definitely should have put it on the snare tactician instead of this. That was a big mistake and it might just cost us the game. Yeah. <clears throat> Guess we can resolve that guy. Whenever this creature mutates, target an opponent. Sure. Target creature and opponent controls gets next to you, next to you. Pass two attackers. He's about to nag you. <laughs> I see. I see what you did there. Oh, look. Three lands in a row. Fantastic. Do glide him. I am gl I'm gliding him right now. <clears throat> 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 lands. 12 lands out of our deck right now. To 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Three more lands. I'm tempted to just sack this guy. I don't think he's doing much for us, and I think the extra card would uh, benefit us significantly more. Yep, glad we didn't draw that. Oh, but it's two more lands in a row, guys. Two more lands. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 15 lands in a row. The Urchai, we've actually drawn more than all the lands in our deck. 15 lands. Only two more lands in our 11 cards, so that's good. That is the, uh... I think we're both stuck on lands, though, so I guess that's... Frank, were you an English major or 15, an English 16 lands. Major? 16 lands. Thank you, Katie. Uh, so what is this? How many is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That doesn't seem right. I thought it was more than that. Doesn't matter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. Sure. He about to get squirreled in the face. I do feel like I'm about to get squirreled in the face. Well, no, them you said, right? This is like eight lands in a fucking row, dude. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, man. It's absolutely unbelievable. I feel like someone should do like a statistical analysis of uh, Frank before mana draws. <clears throat> yeah. Seems like a good PhD topic. Like, is it possible I lose this game if, like, I actually draw normal amounts of lands? I don't think so, because I'm basically winning right now, so... Or if I, you know, like, if I had two more spells in hand. Ooh, pacifism. You just made that Splendor Man into a hippie. I guess we could have attacked with all three and forced a block, but... I mean, still, they go to one. If they, I, mean, I think their last card's a removal spell. Sure. <laughs> oh, God, and I don't even activate this to draw the card. I'm so bad at this game. No! Oh, God. It's only got three life left. Uh, They're called hit points. <laughs> sure. I like to call them hitty points. I know you do, buddy. I know you do. Little hittles. Aggressive. Less aggressive. Oh, wow. More aggressive. I just got that Tigerilla. <clears throat> yep, wishing I drew that card last turn. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, let's see what we can hit. Bargle it. Um... Choose two. I'll choose you and you. You don't want the land? I didn't, surprisingly. Dude, Curdle is blue. I'm working on it. Put a menace counter on a creature you control. This one. 
Oh, we have two humans, so I guess we just have to play this as a, as a man. Great as a man. Maybe you could mutate it onto one of his creatures. Alright, push you to two. And now this guy has menace, so even if you attack for three, we still kill you with these. And I mean, you gotta draw something here. You gonna die! No, I, I never have faith in that. Oh, interesting. Well, you can dead weight them. <clears throat> that doesn't do much, though, unfortunately. I almost you wish it. We have three cards in our library, so they're ten? Yeah. Jesus. Dead weight after attacking. That way you can get him. No, I want them to gain less life, though. Okay. I mean, I feel like we just have to alpha here. And hope they don't have, uh... <laughs> uh, settle the wreckage. Is that, is that in the set? N no, that was a, just a little meme. Was it? I'm gonna put this guy in the front, because it's their only lifelinker left, and... They're gonna pump it. Yep. Oh, they we still win, I didn't even know. Hooray! Zero. Wow, 2 0. Alright. Despite Wait, drawing literally 16 lands. <laughs> oh, Lord. Frank finds a way to survive. Not bad for our first, uh. First ever Ikoria draft. <laughs> We're already up picks, picks, packs, and gems. I just made all those. <laughs> Was that you? Because it didn't match your lips. Can you say something? What? I think you're... I think you're lagging because you're... F the things you're doing on screen do not match the noises that are coming out of your mouth, man. Did I not tell you about my past life as a ventriloquist? Okay, there you go. Now you're back. I have no idea what just happened. What happened to chat? They're like all dead. I, it's so weird when it happens, I know. You hate to see it. Hey, chat. Wake up. Wake up! Wake up! That's from the, the Disturbed band. You know that, that band, they got the sickness? Yeah, they did do got that sickness. They did do got it. Oh no, Beer Man is actually dead. That's fucked up. John, what did you say? What did you say we were working on the last time I, I checked? You said you told me it was something. I forgot the name you told me. What was the game you're working on? Oh, you have to do actual work. That's on that. That's no bueno. <coughs> what does this do? A draw a card, discard. That's pretty good. It's a video game program. <laughs> Dang it! He's always too smart for me. Are you trying to get him to uh, get out of Zendia or something? Uh, Beer Man works at Rockstar Games, so I always try to get him uh, to uh, give me hints. I playfully try to give him get, get him to give me hints as to what he's working on, but I never want him to actually do it because I would really hate if his job was ever in jeopardy. Because, but then again, uh, from what I know of John, like he'll definitely find something else. How's that uh, GTA Six coming? <laughs> It's a classic. I mean, as long as it's L.A. Noir 2, I'm totally fine with it. You know, that's all I really need to... What if, uh, what if they're making Half-Life 3? Um, that would be weird. Are they just really just murdering all my creatures? That's wild. It's murder. It is actually murder. I believe it's called the Xbox Series X. I believe it's called It's Murder. Murder! Look at the top three cards. The Xbox Series XM. It's a tiny refrigerator. What are you saying right now? The new Xbox, a tiny refrigerator. 
Kerwin, as a Microsoft employee, actually is is he knows that he knows, so he's telling us, guys, you should really. Uh, I don't know anything. I don't know what you're talking about. He does. He, he's just making stuff up, guys. Why would you use? Oh yeah, I guess that you have to. I don't know why you'd use the single black when I have multiple white sources, just ready, just ready for the taking. <coughs> Can you just stop fire prophesying all my things? Like, this deck is... What is even happening? Flame still, flame, flame, fire prophecy, fire prophecy. Hey, Frank, you looking for a cheaper way to support the stream? I am. Patreon is a great way to support co the content for only $1 to $2 a month. That's wild. 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 Uh, Jimmy the Mole, try uh, Boros Reckoner. Try it. I'm actually going to cycle this thing. I really don't need the lands, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Super Fritz, I think the Xbox uh, 360 actually anyway. had an air fryer. So, Is Frank, this... you, remember the, you remember that video when I got interviewed on Japanese TV? Yes. Did I tell you about how that like almost got me in trouble at work? Yes. <laughs> they were like, you really need to run this by us in the future. And you're like, Good oh. Times. oh, that's my bad. You did what now? Boy, I'll tell you what. Tell it again. <laughs> <laughs> so I, got, I, got, I was just walking around in Tokyo and like this TV crew was like, hey, can we interview you? And I was like, sure, fine, whatever. Um, and they were interviewing people to see what they had in their bags. Like literally they just wanted to look in your bag and see what was in there. And so I was like, fine, whatever. So I talked to them for a while. And then anyway, like, they actually decided they wanted to show it on TV. And uh, so, like, the producer, or the, like, the production assistant starts calling me up, who, like, doesn't speak any English. And, like, my Japanese is not great. So I'm having these crappy discussions with her. Anyway, like, they keep asking me stuff like, oh, do we need to blur out the uh, faces of all your coworkers and stuff? And I was like, I don't know. Anyway, I was wearing a Microsoft <laughs> I don't shirt. Know. I was wearing a Microsoft shirt at the time. They're like, do we need to blur that out? And I was like, probably not, but let me ask. And so I asked, like, the PR people, and they're like, hold on a second. You got interviewed by what? And they're going to show it on TV? And they started, like, freaking out. So I had to send them, like, a transcript of what we talked about. And then they're like, oh, this is... they're just random people. They're like, oh, this is really uh, unexciting. Yeah, and they're like, yeah, fine, whatever. I really feel like after these matches, I want the second Dark Bargain in here. Like, getting stuck on cards is just not... It's just too common and not fun. But it was one of my life goals to get uh, on Japanese TV, and I did it, so <laughs> I, can, I can die happy. You should show it after, Frank. Don't tell me what to do. Don't don't threaten me with a good time. Okay. Should I threaten you with a bad time? I think so, yeah. Want to pour uh, vinegar in your eyes? Okay, well, let's slow down. You want to take a chicken nugget shower? <laughs> I don't know what that means, but... Uh... End of the turn. Yeah, Murbler. Frank's a weird dude. Is that true? Yeah. You know those, like, t-shirt cannons? What if they had one that shot nuggets? They'd be like a Nug shotgun. Is that like a baby shower? Hmm. Not really. I, mean, I feel like in a baby shower, like people are giving you gifts, and this, like, people are not bringing you anything. 
Maybe, though. Maybe you get like a big bucket of nugs and then cut a small hole in the bottom so that the nugs slowly leak out the bottom on top of you. Ooh, nug is just gun spelled backwards. Get that nug gun. Nug gun. What are you saying right now? Nug gun? You're playing John Fa. <laughs> Fa. Neville Dirt Fiend. That's a great name. Wow, drawing four cards seems good. I guess it is your main phase, though, so you can't really do much. Ooh, Selena Gomez Prime is one of your moderators. All right, well, they're at five, we're at nine. They have five cards, we have a planes. What happened to Mike B? Nothing, nothing happened to him. What? These questions are so, oh man, you know what? I'm done. God, the whole deck is just drawing cards, man. The Bieber shower from yesterday? What is that? I don't even remember that. Yeah, I don't remember that either. Oh, beer shower. You could have a nugget beer shower. I feel like Katie would be into that. Katie, you into a nugget beer shower? Did they just attack me when I have lethal on board and they don't keep a blocker back? What? They were blinded by the light. That was really weird. I'm not sure how that works. Blinded by the light. Revved up like a deuce. Another runner in the night. She's going to make it through the night. So, you, Katie, you'd be into a cider nug shower? <laughs> you guys need to stop. Don't encourage her. She's going to be like, hey, can you dunk nuggets on me while I'm taking a shower? And I'm going to be like, no, I'm just going to have to go leave the room now. Don't like, act like you wouldn't be into that. No, that's it's a bridge too far. Then you're like squishing on all the nuggets as you're walking around. She's going to broom. <clears throat> Ooh, a picnic in the bathroom. Get a little, uh, get a little blanket sit on. I wish I had a, like a plummet of my own. I guess we have enough removal. I guess I don't really need a plummet of my own. See, Katie, he's imagining that the nugs fall down on top of you, and then they would fall on the floor. <coughs> That's the alternative. I'd eat them, not from the floor. Why he always got to lower himself into a garbage? Wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> Why are the nugs? Because if I'm sprinkling the nugs, they're not gonna. You can't catch all of them. It's just not even possible. Our hand is four See, removal spells, three lands. I think Katie is imagining having the nugs and eating them well. Oh, in the I'm thinking as a nug shower. I think I'm showering the person in nuggets. Right? Like, isn't that what a shower entails? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing these things on you. She wants you to feed her the nuggets. Showering, if you will. So that they don't get soggy. But feed them to me. Yeah, you know, I'll take shower and I'll just feed you a nugget. That's totally, so, that's totally normal would, thing to do. Would he be responsible for dipping then? Well, who's gonna if, if I don't? That's a good question. I'm gonna make it through the night. The best question though is, what sauce goes best with a shower? Uh, yes, I trust him to dip. I appreciate that. Man, nugget dipping trust is a real thing. Like, I don't feel barbecue is a good shower dip. What? Really? You think there's a... You think it's... What? Really? Yeah, I think I want something a bit more laid back. Well, Caesar there's... dressing? Wow, they get to draw two cards. Caesar Funny dressing? What? <laughs> get Frank, the fuck out of Frank, here. We don't, we don't judge here, Frank. cool taste of ranch dressing it's in the name 
the warmth of the nugs and the warm water. Jesus. This is not this is not based in culinary uh Frank. Just let it happen. Sweet and sour for sure. I feel like if you're eating nugs without at least a bit of sweet and sour, you're missing out. You know what I feel like? What? I don't know. Buffalo to spice up the shower? The Szechuan sauce? Oh, we're not rich here. Yeah, this is a lot of, uh, you know. There's going to be a Gordon Ramsay shower nug restaurant opening soon. He's spying us right now. Gordon Ramsay's handmade shower nugs. This is this is a lot to take in, guys. It's going to be a Vega Vegas restaurant and a casino. Is four damage here worth them drawing a card? How many cards have they got right now? Five. Hmm. Maybe not. Like, is it worth the one friggin' card? I don't know. Old Gordo Ramsay. Who is he? Which which chat name do you think is Gordon Ramsay? Is it part trap? What are you saying right now? I'm trying to figure out uh, which person in the chat is Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't think he's in there, to be honest with you. I bet it's Mr. Tasty. Oh, God. I think no attacks. I don't think we give them another card. Mr. Tasty, are you Gordon Ramsay? You have to tell us. Wow. Is that true? They have to? Yeah. It's the law. <clears throat> All that it does is look for cards. It's very strange. I've never seen such a thing. Rorvin Gamsey? It's pretty close. What does this guy do? Double strike? That's big. And this guy's just nothing, right? Deals one damage to his opponent. Sure, don't care about that. Oh, you get the menace counter too? Ball. Yeah, boy, I got menace for days. Ball. We're gonna make it through the night. I mean, a four five seems hard for the red deck to deal with. That's my, that's my opinion. Yeah. But I guess we'll find out. There's three. I guess you got three copies of Fire Prophecy in your deck. So. Second, I thought that was the bittersweet gremlin. It's not. Yep. Yep, three copies of Fire Prophecy. Must be nice. <laughs> and all of them are in your first 18 cards. Oh, look, another land. Alright. You know they got those, like, mud baths at spas? No, I've never heard of such a thing. Really? Really? No, of course I've heard of that. What's wrong with you? <laughs> they, they should have a McDonald's spot where it has like sweet and sour bass. Oh yeah, I would love a creature right now. That's they should have creatures in my deck. That's what I think they should have. I even Not added bad. the second dark bargain so I could have that. So four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Mm, yeah, never. Do you remember like the old McDonald's playrooms where they had the ball pits? No. What's that? It's like a ball pit. It's got balls. In a pit. Are you talking about Brad Pitt? No. Huh. This whole thing's been very confusing. Oh wow, another blister spit goblin. Give me something. Blister spit goblin. A pit of Brad. Oh, that's nice. A pit of Brad Pitt. Let's give him float. <clears throat> you saw somebody pee in the ball pit and never went back into the ball pit 
I mean, that seems like a smart thing to do. That's disgusting and also the correct outcome. Were they in the ball pit when they peed into it? Who isn't? I don't know what this card does. Uh, I guess I'll let this one resolve. So I'll cost two less. Return a non-land permanent to your hand. Draw a card. So I can just replay it next turn? That's weird. That's weird. Spontaneous fly! Yeah. What happens when the ball pit stays in the ball pit? That's true, because it's very hard to clean out. He's right. Just untap? No, just gets flying counter. Okie dokie. This is whenever it deals combat. Oh, because it's a stupid little otter underneath. That's rough. Well, that's unfortunate. He's sitting on an otter. <laughs> Adult Super Fritz witnessing this. Yep. <clears throat> He's just sitting over in the corner eating his burger. Watching someone, like, relieve themselves into a ball pit. It's very quiet. Oh man, Fire Prophecy number three, my dudes. <laughs> Adult Super Fritz would have laughed because there's no chance he would be in the ball pit. Look at that kid being in the ball pit. <laughs> Yeah, my hair uh, is uh, is pretty pink. It's re it's really just a oh good another wow the four flames four four fire prophecy flame spill deck. Woo! <laughs> just phenomenal. What if they have more than four? Yeah, I mean they probably do. Can't cast dark bargain now. That's cool. I mean it doesn't matter. Like we're just fucking dead here because even despite gaining three life this game like. <clears throat> Do we have any life gain in our sideboard? Doesn't look like it. Zaichi, you went to TwitchCon Amsterdam 2020? This guy get reach. I guess How'd you get that badge then? Oh, so they still gave you the badge. All right, well. Dope. <clears throat> Let's play first. You know what? I'll keep it. One swamp, three planes. One, One hollow. Time. Get it. Got him. You got a dark bargle? I do have a dark bargle. I have the darkest of bargles. <laughs> yeah, unlike the is actually pretty good. I probably should have. I was thinking about that. Dark Bible. Yum. That's from Red Robin. You know Red Robin? Yes. Okay, just checking. We should have drank. We uh, drafted more flame spills. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they have three in their hand right now, so. You know. But do they have a Vulpakeet? No. I doubt it. Oh, Red Robin's going out of business, huh? Really? That's sad. I mean, cheesecake Factory? That's because of all those bottomless fries. It's because of them dang millennials. Refusing to eat terrible food.
Oh wow, they had a they had a fire prophecy for my guy. That's wild, dude. Who is that? That's crazy, dude. Wow. Yeah, Red Robin is a bunch of shameless fry socialists. It's true. <laughs> Okay, I'll take one from Blister Spit Gremlin dot deck over here. Blister Spit Gremlin. <laughs> uh. uh, you're gonna sure. They got the red right there in the name. Yeah. Communists. Cool. Frank, you should open a restaurant called Communist Burger. Why would I do that? <laughs> Seems like a good idea. Does it? Yeah. Huh. People would show up and they would wait in line for hours. And then three of them would get a hamburger. Wow. And the rest of them would have to go into the kitchen and make burgers. Man, this is a wild plan you're, you're, you're throwing here. I can't mutate this onto a human, which is really unfortunate. But I can still play it as a 4-4, four -four, I guess. The soothing sound of Frank's mechanical keyboard. So your little dragon friend has a fuse. Does that mean when it gets to the end, he explodes? Yeah, that's uh, that's his that's his life force. A two-headed giant. <laughs> I don't think Frank wants to play two-headed giant with me. Red Robin. Yum. Uh, you know what? <coughs> I'll attack. Because I guarantee if we played Two-Headed Giant, I'd be playing some sort of Boros Reckoner deck. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. This is so infuriating. Hey, Tony. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Despite the fact that my opponent just literally never has all fucking four of their removal spells at any given time. <laughs> like it's the big just marks at communist unbelievable, burger. dude. The flavor is a manifesto. It's the taste we're standing in line for. See if I can make my head come out of Frank's shoulder. There's some two-headed dragon. <laughs> two-headed dragon? Or two-headed, uh, whatever. You don't even know. You don't even know what the what the second head is. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. He's, got, he's basically drunk. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. It's just actually perfect. Oh, yeah, draw four cards. Solid. He's not a tumor. Solid. Dude, you should poach some of his meat. Um, this human is not doing anything for us, so I'll... Okay, okay. <clears throat> Do you think that means he's boiling the meat? Hmm. Like, 
poaching it? You know, it's hard to say. Because, I mean, it was your creature that you, uh... You're not really stealing it. I think we're actually coming back somewhat, but they do have six cards in hand, so probably not. I guess we're only limited by how many more fire prophecies they have in their deck. I think it's only one, but who knows? Frank, who is your daddy and what does he do? <sighs> yep. Oh, he could be a poacher made of bush meat. Block you. It's mono otters dot deck over here. They be thieving everything. trying i'm working on it all right well so i mean i feel like wish me poacher has actually been mvp <laughs> oh spaghetti toucher i'm definitely what you deserve I'm here to punish you for all of your life's transgressions. Let the suffering begin. Frank, your thing's about to blow up. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, sure. That's annoying. Can we block this turn? Sure. Cool. Like, I don't know if I just sack this guy and gain five. I'm pretty sure I do. Ugh, God. <sighs> like, they're just gonna attack with this, this, and this next turn. That boy must be poachers keeping you alive. Yeah, but they're just drawing infinite cards, which is really obnoxious. Too bad you can't poach their creatures. It is too bad. Just eat their creatures. A little bit of uh, honey butter on there. Mm. Delicious. What's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Hey, Frank, the easiest way to support the channel is to subscribe. You get lots of emotes, access to the Discord channel, and if wow. you have Twitch Prime, it's free. A second dream tale, Heron. Yeah, their deck is ridiculous, and I don't know if we're drafting in the same pods or not, but, like, this is... Just fucking insane. Mm, honey butter. Yeah. Mm. 
Yep, cool. Be sure to draw. So many cards. They're still alive? I don't I don't know. Sure doesn't feel like it. Feels like we're dead inside. Keep eating your own animals. Yeah, and I keep hitting land, so I guess you know it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I can attack for four, five. That doesn't do anything at all. Let me guess. Fire prophecy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, what an actual piece of shit. <laughs> oh, good times, man. Actual good times. Got Fucking amazing. Magic is a skill game. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You know, if you want to slam those slam those pity subscribe buttons if you feel bad uh for the fact that we just had to go through that miserable experience but check me out on manatraders.com cool stuff inc every wednesday uh patreon.com slash frank Kapoor. one kerwit buck from super fritz and i'll see you guys next time thanks so much for watching really appreciate it